Hello everybody, welcome to CCL Season 52 first round match between Hitbreed and his Dark Elves and Fanjo and his Kemri. In the booth with me is Dimmy G. Hello. Hello Jim, hello everybody. Uh, round one, Kemri versus Dark Elves. This, from my limited experience of Blood Bowl, is horrendous for Kemri. Um, but we'll see how it pans out. Mm. Uh, I, don't, I don't think... He's only got, what, seven blodgers, the Dark Elves? So... <laughs> but there is, there's a fair bit of tackle on this Kenry team, to be fair. He's got, like, three or four tackles, so... Oop. He's got some tools. Not a ton of Mighty Blow. You normally see a bit bashier Kenry, don't you? Oh, well, well, there you go. Who needs Mighty Blow? Fake skill. Mm, it is. Oh, look at that. And another, and another one. And another one bats the dust. <laughs> <laughs> And that's a Kaz on the wrestle. <laughs> is he? Is they pretty got a bench? Oh yes. Oh no, that was the Apo. Oh yeah, shit. Apo. Yeah, Apo and wrestle Lino. Wow. I guess he's got a pretty wide team rather than a tall team. Has hasn't he got he? like a? He hasn't even got a spare Apo. No, no. It's oh, I guess the down. He's got a bib. Yeah, just numbers. Oh, and this guy's AV bust. Oh right, and of course he doesn't get hurt. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's fair enough. Twelve players, right? Kemri are gonna, Kemri are gonna probably remove a bunch of players, so just, yeah. just get some guaranteed value out of the, out of the apple, I guess. He's almost stabilised as well, mm -hmm. and near it the halfway line. So like the the main dodgy, risky bit of the uh, drive is, although it's going to be really difficult making any progress against. Well, he's only got two side steppers either, so. And one of them is his mighty blow who's gonna protect, isn't he? So Yeah. Interesting. That's oh, super interesting, lads. Feels like an actual okay matchup for Kemri considering itself. Uh it's still gonna be tricky, I think. It depends, like really. Yeah, I mean the the Kemri are the, the it's good for them that it's a bit of a shit dark elf team, right? Like, because it's a bit of a shit Kemri team. And they're somehow not damaged TV. So if this had been like a fully powered health team, it'd be horrendous for the for the Camry. But yeah. Yeah, the fact the fact that it's like a bit of a shit team gives him a chance. And he's already got two removals, so there's only nine elves on the pitch on turn two. Yeah, that's what you need, isn't it? And he can put a few fouls in if he knocks something over. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know what it is. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh, I, uh, this feels a little negative. <coughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to base your ball. You ruin your life. Yeah, like, because the thing is, I want to, like, I just want to stop them getting forward because they're Kemri and they're slow. And then, if you can just stop them getting forward, then how do they score? With great difficulty, Jim. With great difficulty. <laughs> Correct. So I can understand not wanting to just trade blitzers because obviously the Kemri have got a mighty blow tackler that can that can do things and then by harassing the back it's good. It keeps them honest. They've got a they've got a like cage in front and behind and stuff. But still, I, it's not how I would have liked to have played it. But I'm sure it's it's fine. Well, the other thing is as well is he's tagged the dirty player, so it prevents the fouls for it, that's the thing. Yeah, that's pretty nice. So like he's probably keeping that dirty player out of the drive and obviously his Apo's gone now. So like fouls are like even more like tempting. Yeah. But the one thing I will say about um Banjo is he's getting narrower and narrower and he doesn't want to get squished in too much. Hmm Oh, he's going full contact. I mean, these two guardians don't have block. Red dice are uh, available. Gets the removal. Unbelievable. Uh, yeah. And now everything is based on the Kenry team, so how's he clear the ball? <laughs> yeah, that's a th Oh, wow. <coughs> Probably should have stood this guy at first. Whoa! This guy should have stood up, shouldn't he? There's no reason. 
Oh, he's going to 2 plus off. That's one. If he's going to 2 plus off, then he's just going to tackle the mighty ball. This guy, so why even base the ball? I guess it's making him blitz backwards. I don't think making somebody blitz backwards on turn 4 is worth giving up. Well, it's sidestep as well, though. That's the thing, or not? Yeah, and it's he, like, The thing is, is, where the guard is, like it's really hard to make it 2D without putting another player in as well. Well, actually, now he's dodged that guy. I probably wouldn't have dodged that guy. I probably would have left him in there. Yeah, maybe they should have done, because, oh wow, I hate that. This guy should go one up and then you can just blitz him from here. Oh no, he's got a bits from the bottom, isn't he? Oh, that's crap. <laughs> I think that's pretty crap. Yeah, but it's the guard, wasn't it? It's because of the guard. Yeah, but he could have done it the other way, Tim. He could have just put this guard one square up and then blitz from the top. Oh, it's just shit. It's just shit, if you ask me. But now the ball gave... just gets to punch him. Face up. Well, now this next turn looks horrendous for Fancho. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna, yeah, it's not good, is it? I'm gonna foul nope. this guy. To try and help him. No, he's not even fouling. Yikes! Next what? turn looks fine for Fanjo. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> well, there you go. And now he just gets to uh, push through here and everything's going to be fine. I'm not sure what any of that was about, to be honest. No. Oh, oh dice. Maybe he was just going to try and blitz him and then dodge him out and recover, but I thought he had a load of opportunity to put a load of pressure on. Yeah, he didn't didn't go for the pressure at all, did he? But instead, choosing to uh, get absolutely shit on. <laughs> Don't like that. I would have pushed him there and got an extra hit. Personally. Jeff. I'd say here, but then the problem is there's guard on it, so he's going through. Here, yeah, here, and then the team guardian securing. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's actually pretty good. That's pretty good from Thunder. left a chain on there. <clears throat> he left the chain on to chain the guy onto the front of the cage and then get a in the ball. I can't see what's down in the Kimry side though. Oh no, he didn't really have the players. Yeah. Mm. He also doesn't have players in front, does he? These, these three are all back here where they shouldn't have been. <laughs> so now instead of having uh, eight players in front of the ball, completely like screening them off, He's got only got five in front, and then three dicking around doing nothing, and uh, Henry to go to the centre very strongly. So, yeah, it really is costing him these kind of idiot harassers who haven't really done anything. <laughs> you know, okay, he made him blitz backwards on turn three or whatever, but then it's cost him being able to blitz forward on turn six, which seems not worth doing. You ask me. We well, can see if it's good or bad. But you just did, didn't you? Everything's equally valid. <laughs> Give everyone a participation medal. Tap on the head. <laughs> you can do it. This is a bit bad though because this could be, I mean it's a bit bad, it's not terrible because you could fill here and then chain him but then there's still a screen so it doesn't achieve anything. 
So it looks bad, but actually isn't. <laughs> he's doing it anyway, but he doesn't really need to. Oh, he's not doing it. Okay, he's doing it. Oh, that's pretty bad. Randall Kaz. Reach him. Bah! <laughs> Insanity dicing. <laughs> Insanity dicing. So there's new levels of dicings now, lads. You've got a comedy mega, and you also now have insanity dicing, which mm. is uh, when it's even worse than a comedy mega dicing. Yeah. I don't know where he's gonna go, Jim. Do you reckon he's gonna go through that massive hole in the right hand side? I don't know. He might go up this massive hole on the right hand side, yeah. Why is it some of the ball carrying? Got tackle. Got tackle. Mm -hmm. Would have loved to have seen a one in nine there. <laughs> yeah, he's got the reroll, hasn't he? I think it's the right thing to do, even if it looks on the face a bit, a bit too risque. Mm. For real dice hacks, I don't think uh, any of them have for real dice hacks. No. He's got to do a GFI here. One, two, three, four. He's got to do two GFIs on He only has to do one, but probably will want to do another one. Oh, he's stroke four, isn't he? It's only a bit rowdy. Like, at the end of the day, if you've got a tackle, like, it's not. If people overblow how bad it is to go to the ball for you. So. Oh, did I? You do, yeah. 80 times out of 81, that was fine. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Yeah, I mean, like, I, I've tried to play Blood Bowl that way, Jim, and, uh, probably enough. Doesn't always work. No, but it works 80 times out of 81. So people shouldn't be like, oh my god, that's a terrible thing. Because it's not. He's going to surf the shrimp for he is, isn't he? What a lad. Oof. What a lad. That's pretty nice. Really nice, Jim. Really <coughs> nice. But can you get enough in to stop the tutty still? Uh, let's have a let's have a look. See, maybe, maybe this is mm, looks like it. Oh, I wouldn't have gone. No, no, it's chain now, isn't there? Yeah. yeah, I wouldn't have gone that way. That's oh, okay. The guards in there. Yeah, the chain was obvious. Instant. Instant full chain. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six. And now it's just a GFI, so he blitzes the side stepper and then just goes round with the GFI. Yep. Mm. Overcompensated, I think. Yep. Often, often, like it's a thing that people often do is that kind of thing. Yep, custom. Wow, Kemri, Kemri getting the job done on their own drive, unbelievable. I mean, he only had like eight elves, and three of them were in the back of his half, were like <laughs> half the game. Yeah. So. yeah, but still, still nice to see Kemri's success, even if it's brief. Oh no, Lilt has been axed by Coca Cola. Has it? Yeah. To be fair, I've only had one can of Lilt in like the last 10 years. And it was a complete nostalgia thing. I was just like, holy shit, I haven't had Lilt in ages. <laughs> I better have a Lilt. Yeah, you might have, a, you might have had the last Lilt that anyone ever had. 
Well, mate, like, people are just going to go out and buy it in bulk now, aren't they? That's normally what happens. They're going to be like, oh, my God, we're never going to get loot again. And they'll just buy millions of it. And then Coca-Cola will be like, oh, we actually decided to bring it back. And everyone will stop buying it again. Yeah. They're probably just trying to boost their loot sales before the last quarter. Yep. This is a, uh, a funky setup for a one turner. Isn't it? It'd be interesting if he gets a quick snap. Mm. Draw on the pan. It's uh, a touchback. Wait, what? So is this just literally for the... I thought he was going to do something like, you know, blitz the... Blitz back and like fill things or whatever, but there was just literally nothing. It was just purely playing for a riot. That's probably fair, right? He's only got moves seven sidestep. It's really hard. But he's being strengthened. It's, it's hard, but it's not impossible. Like, he could run the witch around the other side and uh, frenzy the block guy. Yeah. And then he'd get a chain that way. Like, it's hard, but it's not impossible. And it's mm -hmm. worth trying when it's chalice, I guess. Yeah, it's it's just hard because it's so, like it's so hard. <laughs> so I, I mean, guess... he could even like he could even dodge through the gap, right? Because that's a, a three-two, and then use the dirty player for the chain. Like... Yeah, yeah. Do, r use the witch elf to hit the dirty player too, and then get him in. That still might not work. Maybe I mean, it, I would hate to have to try and figure it out in three minutes, but. Yeah, it's easier to just not try and then set up yeah, the riot. If yeah. you get the riot, it's glorious, <laughs> isn't it? Or oh, the quick snap. Yeah, no, I don't know how much the quick snap would have helped him. Or like he could have set up for the quick snap to do the dodge through with the witch and then get the chain on the side step. Yeah, yeah. And like, because he left that three-man gap in the back of his screen as well, so there would there would have been a clean channel all the way through to the tuddy. Yep. So. Just complete random placing of players in the back. <laughs> <laughs> just like, get a handful of Skittles and just throw them at a table. <laughs> <laughs> that I like to uh, do my one turn defences. Yeah. I am. Um, I actually learned how to do one de turn defences from uh, Jimmy Fantastic. Yeah. Oh wow! Specifically against Crucifer. Yep. And uh, I like to call it the uh, the gaping hole. Yep. Thanks very uh, much, Jimmy. Yep, that's alright Jim, uh, you're the best, you uh, taught me everything I know about football. Thanks. why I have a 35% win rate. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. It's weird that he's like fend, right? So he's got dodge, sidestep, fend. Mm. No sure hands. No... Like tackle. Like there's, there's quite a few things that I think go before bend. Yeah. yeah, it's weird, isn't it? It's a weird one. It's a pretty shit Dark Elf team, to be fair. Isn't it? There's it's not, not a lot to it. Yeah. Like, fine for its TV, but again, I'm saying shit. It's not like he's, you know, picked multi block or anything. It doesn't look like it's played a lot of games. Like, yeah. it looks like it's minimum effort to qualify. Yeah, it's either or it's played might. too many oh. games and everything's died. <laughs> yeah, especially with the rookie witch and stuff. Like, you'd, you'd think that this team had been better at some point. Hmm. All right, Cockla. Hey, hey, hey! Oh, here he is. Or was that you, Jimmy? <laughs> that was me. Oh my god, that actually sounded like him. <laughs> ta -ta, ta -ta, ta -ta. Oh, Kalon's here as well. <laughs> Got the whole gang in town. <laughs> Come on! Good job for dinner, Hancock. <laughs> Bit of scouse. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I don't. Uh, I don't like the Dakar against Kimri either. So looks like a relatively normal offense. 
And I quite like the Daco against Camry because while they've really? got the, yeah, I hate while the two piece, man. Yeah, the the, 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 the the yeah, the Tomb Guardian's obviously a pain in the ass, but the thing is they can just blitz and foul, blitz and foul, blitz and foul every turn and then you're like, I'm not enjoying it, are you? Blitz and foul. Ooh. I haven't seen a foul yet from Fanjo, which is weird. Like, not really it is weird, like... isn't it? Yeah. Only just emerged from adverts. Mm. You were in the booth earlier, Hancock. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 hey! <laughs> Oh. <laughs> you were back in again for a minute. <laughs> yeah, there it is. Oh, right. Oh. <laughs> okay. Could have surfed him, couldn't he? Maybe. Wasn't up for commitment. Probably too much. Smash the guard, he's he's got to try and defend here, hasn't he? Win, win the game one there. He's uh, better than surfing somebody. I don't know, Jim. I know it's a hot take. That's crazy. Oh my god, disgusting. <laughs> Full pow. I'm in bloodshot. And no foul because the DP's already moved. Oh, one in nine there would have been horrendous. Mm. I hate that. I'm like, oh, they'll never take this block. Because it's just a really bad block. And then they That's just power you up. <laughs> 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 right. yeah, every time. Every time. Oh, fucking game. With a fucking dice. <laughs> yeah, is Flicky ever going to stream Blood Bowl again? Like, what's going on there? I hope so. He'd be playing he's, Chunter he's, soon in SFL. I reckon his doctor just turned around to him and said, Look, mate, you need to uh, stop. Oh, he's a poker lad now, is he? Mm -hmm. yeah. Chunter's a poker lad as well. It'll be a poker off in, in SFL semi. Man, every time I think about poker, I just wish I. I wish I was playing it. <laughs> oh, wow, the Dublin skulls into self cars. But the problem with uh, poker is it's just like you've either got to be insane. <laughs> fend that. <laughs> yeah, fend that, mate. You've got to be either insanely lucky or play at stakes that you can't afford to lose at. Which in turn leads you to be having to be lucky. It didn't load. 10 out of 10. Yep, it did not work. And uh, what were you saying about blitzing with a ball carrier, Jim? Well, he didn't have a reroll, which made it a what? lot worse. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, wow. Hey! It's a lot Did different you? blitzing with a reroll than without, to be, to be fair. Is it? Yes. Is it? Yeah. It's 36 times worse to do it without. <laughs> oh, man, that was... I, like, I don't know what's going on. Like, I feel, like, uh, hate breeds played a lot better than this against me in the past. I think it's just his team's a bit shit, and he probably just didn't think he had much chance, and just played some things, and that's it. Yeah, to score on a rookie team guardian to level during Chalice. Yeah, that's yeah. the dream, isn't it? Mm. Like this is the on paper. This is like I still think this is a, a bad matchup for the Kenry. Like. Yeah, but it probably is. The Dells are probably favoured, but not anymore. <laughs> no, definitely not anymore. I would, yeah. I mean, I would. I would. The thing is, though, like if you perceive the Dark Elves as fifty-one percent to win, you will take the Dark Elves every time, won't you? <laughs> yeah, I, I perceive them to be higher than fifty-one percent. Yeah, at I mean, least so, fifty-two percent. Yeah, I mean, I would take, pick them as more as fifty-one, but not by that much. Like, you know, Bimby's like fifty-four. Like, I think it's pretty oh, close. Got to round that up to a seventy-five, Jim. No. No one near yeah. 75. <laughs> <laughs> but like 55 hey. is 55 is kind of big difference. If you look at 55, it'll look this someone's posted some stats here randomly in the Discord, so I can use this. Um, so looking at NAF win rates, 55% is undead. 
and 45% is Vampires. So, you know, 55-45 is a significant favourite in a single match of Blood Bowl, isn't it, when you think about it? Mm, yeah. It is. But then there's so many variables, like, it's just... It's almost as if someone just could pull numbers completely out of thin air and uh, attach them to stuff and make them sound meaningful. And people would believe it, you know? Oh, yeah. Hey, Kaz. <laughs> people believe anything. <laughs> Pretty <laughs> much. <laughs> like Amazons could win Chalice. And mm. Maniacs. Yeah, I mean, only lunatics would think that, to be fair. Yeah. I mean, like, I just, I, I'm personally offended by anyone that tries to qualify Amazons because I, I feel like they're like having a go at me, saying, like, <laughs> yeah, it's possible. And, uh, like, surely, like, I, I said it, so you shouldn't even bother trying. <laughs> yeah, it, it does seem an odd goal to prove Dimmy G wrong. <laughs> <laughs> He does that to himself on a daily basis. What are you on about? <laughs> I, I haven't been wrong about anything in ages. <laughs> I, haven't, I haven't said anything in ages. So <laughs> you haven't been uh, wrong about Amazon's not winning Chalice, that's for sure. <clears throat> <laughs> I'm pretty I'm pretty good with the old uh, predictions as well. Mm. I did predict PC to beat Nolysius, but... Oh. That was closer than people put, like, they, that people gave it credit for. Yeah. Oi. Whoa. Hey. Oi. Whoa. <laughs> you what? Mm. You, I told you, Nolysius. I was like, you're going to lose the PC. You always lose to competent coaches. Mm. I, I literally said that to your face. What was Why that? It was, it was an uphill block um, in Arian. Did you just yeah. want him to not? Just lose. That's the sort of thing where Artemis would be like, an uphill block, what the fuck is he doing? But if he doesn't do that uphill block, he just waits and loses, right? He's only got three more turns left. He's he's losing one nil. Like, he just has to make that hit. Like, he just has to. Yeah, the one the one that he didn't have to make was the ball carrier blitz without a reroll. <laughs> How could he make it 1D? He can't, it's shrimp five, mate. Come it's on. Five, there's a guard right here. There's yeah. literally a guard right here. So five minus three minus one. <laughs> it's one, right? Mm. No, the Tomb Guardian isn't going to fail the dodge because he's just he just doesn't have to score, does he? So. Hey! Oh my! What? Oh, he wants to surf that Lino. Okay. Yeah, but he's strength five, but plus he had the assist. So he needed two assists. Why wouldn't he come? Oh my god, he's killing everything. And it was a This is, day. yeah. Um, this normally happens to me when I play Banjo. <laughs> uh, Look at this, he's rolled four uphill blocks and rolled a skull every time. Whereas. Nick rolled one uphill versus me. <laughs> just, just, just saying, you know. <laughs> double, double pals. Yeah. <clears throat> Correct. There we go. Yeah, this. It was GG the minute he lost the ball, really. Yeah, pretty much had some uphills on it, but maybe there was a one D, like. But you know, even even if there was a one D. At the end of the day, if that's using all of your players, then there's no recovery, is there? And he probably, seeing as he had an elf up here, he probably wanted to get the uphill pals and then have recovery to shot it to the other guy and fuck off. How so, many SPPs on that to me? None. Oh. Well, it gets him MVP ready, doesn't it? It does. Or another tuddy. <laughs> oh, maybe you should throw a pass and then hand it back off to him. <laughs> I know what, what Rick do. would do. <laughs> He could have done. He could have done three passes, couldn't he? And then scored the tuddy. I mean, I mean, that's that's what Rick would have done. Then we would have been in for a proper game. Would have been such a treat. Yep.
think that's hate breed's best chance of winning it is get rid of the scoring threat so you can throw the passes reliably. <laughs> <laughs> and look, he made five uphills and rolled a skull every single every time the uphill was with block and every time he rolled a skull. <laughs> wow. Nice. Versus a blockless tomb. It's, yeah, what is it? It's like 29% for the skull or something like that, isn't it? Uh, I imagine it's 30% without thinking about it at all. Oh, right, sorry, I was so wrong with my 29. Sorry, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking idiot. <laughs> It's not 29, it's it's probably 30. <laughs> okay, alright mate. <laughs> well, I didn't say it like that. But, um, I don't know what it is. I think, I think it's 30, but I just literally don't know. Oh, look at that lovely line so that he can't get through at all. Brilliant. Brilliant play. Brilliant play. Yeah, 40% is, is nearly 50-50. Oh man, that was brilliant. That's so... Soul coming out with that. That was brilliant. Who said that? Uh, Soul yesterday trying to argue something about corn not being shit. So he said something about forty percent, which is nearly fifty. Oh no, no I think it was pylon. And whatever it was, he was he was trying to argue the case that something wasn't that bad or wasn't that. Good oh, or fight so fire. Yeah, something. yeah. So he said forty percent is is which is almost fifty fifty. <laughs> it's like. <laughs> So it's like you can't just say forty for the actual percent, and then say it's almost fifty-fifty. <laughs> oh, oh, it was brilliant. Oh, roll of falling right there. I didn't really. I was I was pretty tired at the time. Right. Well, there you go. Easy win for Fanjo there in the end. Um, you know, some bad dice for Hairbraid, and but you know, mostly just crap crap team wasn't it really like good for its tv but not good for uh yeah the bigger boys of chalice and uh yeah you know fanjo may struggle as well because his team also isn't that good um but he got an mvp there lovely mvp gets an extra skill congrats to uh, sorry commiserations to hatebreed congrats to fanjo thank you very much dimmy being glorious having you in yeah it was a really fun game enjoyed it and uh yeah congratulations fanjo well hey thanks for watching everyone don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic